welcome. Today, I will guide you through the process of creating and modifying a suitable terrain for Second Life. First we import an already existing terrain map. We apply some changes to it, and then we export the map back to Second Life. You can already see that the shoreline of this terrain needs some improvement, and we also will create another hill at the corner of this region, and we will use Blender for this task. Please note that only region owners can up or download terrain files. The download option is located at World, Place Profile, Region is Date. Then switch to the Terrain tab. Click on the Download Raw Terrain button and select a destination on your local disk and be patient. The download can take up to two minutes. You can find ready-made terrain files on the internet. You find some links in the written documentation for this tutorial. You can open the terrain file from the Blender Import section. File, Import, SL Terrain. Then use the Mesh Editor to change your mesh. The created terrain uses one Blender unit for one meter, hence it is huge compared to your normal object scales. You can use all mesh editors to change your mesh, but please take care to only change the height values. You must not move the vertices in X or Y, and you also neither can add nor remove any vertices from the terrain object, otherwise the terrain can no longer be exported. Now you can export your modified terrain. File, Export, SL Terrain. Please keep a copy of your original terrain file, so you have a backup if anything goes wrong. We have added a few export parameters, but for modifications of an already existing terrain, you should keep with the default settings. The final step is to import the terrain back to Second Life. Click on the Upload Raw Terrain button. And again please keep patient for about 2 minutes until the upload is completed.